Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you how to build your very own belt squat belt, which will also double as a weighted dip belt for $7. This is probably what you already have. This is a weighted dip belt. A lot of people use these for belt squat belts, but that's not what they're designed for. So right now I have 75 pounds on this. This is a commercially bought uh, weighted dip belt. It's not comfortable. This chain is digging into my, my area. It's not comfortable. It's kind of dangerous if you think about it. If you think about it, if you think about it, if you think about it. I'm taking this thing off. So what's the DIY alternative? It's right here. I'm gonna show you how I use it and then I'll show you how to make one. It's super comfortable, no chain digging into your, your stuff. Hook it up. I could stay like this all day, not all day. So there's no reason to have chains, chain triangle here anymore. Some options for you to be able to hang the weight from the belt. Obviously a loading pin, AKA a plate pin. I call them plate pins. Just add weight to the plate pin, clip on, and now you're ready to go. Now, if you need a loading pin, make sure you check out my DIY video. Alternatively, for three bucks, you can get a four pack of these soft loop tie down straps, which have a 2,400 pound brake strength, okay? And a 800 pound working load limit. All you do with that is Instead of using a loading pin, just feed the strap through, and then you can attach this to your carabiner. Okay, there you go. Now, if you want to do cable belt squats, make sure you check out my DIY cable crossover video. to make the belt now. All right, so I bought this at Harbor Freight for seven bucks. It comes with two pieces, the actual ratchet and the strap. We don't need the ratchet. Okay, we only need the strap. Okay, we take our belt and we take the carabiner, put it on the belt, okay? Put it basically it's right in the middle, okay? Now, I'm gonna take the belt, put it behind my back and around my waist. Now, I'm gonna take the carabiner and I'm gonna hook it onto this black hook right there. Now, when I pull this loose end, it'll tighten the belt. So you want to get it so that the belt is seated nicely on your hips and it hangs down at the length that you want, okay? So make sure it's not twisted. Now, this excess, that's what I'm going to use to tie a knot in through this buckle around and then pull through, okay? Basically, it's just a knot, you know, I don't, it's no fancy sailor knot or nothing. Put a second knot to secure the thing, okay? So, second knot, okay? You can see my first knot, second knot, okay? 
Okay, it's a double knot. If you want a little bit more added security, make sure this knot doesn't go anywhere. Just take some zip strips, feed them through your knot, and kind of lock that knot into place. Okay. Bring that through the knot, and tighten it. And pull hard. Cut off the excess. Now, if you're using a black ratchet strap, it would be ideal to use black zip ties too, but this is what I got on hand. Okay, and I'll put a second zip strip in. As far as this tag is concerned, just remove that out. And that's it. Seven dollar belt squat belt. So I'm going to give you a few options just to make this feel a little bit more comfortable. Bear in mind that. By default, this still feels better than wearing this chain, okay? Keep that in mind. So if you do nothing else, this will still be better than this. So our first option for increasing the comfort level is taking our belt squat belt and integrating it with this thing. So to integrate the two, all we gotta do is turn this thing around and we're gonna put the belt squat belt on the outside of this belt. So feed it through one loop, okay? And then do the same down here. So now you see the belt squat belt is actually on the outside of this weighted dip belt, okay? Now if you really wanna to commit to this design, you can just cut this chain off. You won't be using it anymore. Take some Velcro and you can put it right here and adhere, get the thing centered up and adhere it to the outside of the belt. Also consider taking some zip strips to help secure the belt squat belt to the leather belt. and cut. Okay, now do the other side. Okay, let's try it on. Okay, very comfortable. Option number two, take an ordinary weightlifting belt, place it on first, and wear it as low on the hips as possible. Once you got that on, Take your belt squat belt and put it on like you normally would. And then I just put the belt squat belt over my weightlifting belt. So now this weight is just a little bit more comfortable because the straps aren't digging into my hips as much. Comfort option number three. Okay, I take a piece of foam pipe insulation and then I simply Measure the distance against my belt. Okay, that's uh, about right there. I'll cut and then just go ahead and cut it. Okay, there you have it. Then you find the seam in the foam insulation where it's pre-perforated. Now, just feed the belt into the insulation. Make sure you don't get it twisted in the pipe insulation. 
I still have enough room at each end for the knot and the buckle, as well as this end with my carabiner. Then we just take a little duct tape Okay, there. I have three pieces of duct tape. You could do more. This is very comfortable.